time to check out more retro games in five games, five minutes from aconelectron.co.uk. Gala Force 2 is a superb shoot 'em up. It rehashes the formula from the earlier game and throws what seem to be an infinite supply of aliens at your ship. They all attack in preconceived patterns. What you try to do is to place your ship in the most convenient position to pick them all off without putting your ship at too much risk. They drop bullets, by the way, which will wipe you out on contact. The speed of the game has to be experienced to be believed. It's even faster than the original, and this time you don't just have the regular sized sprites to deal with. There's also big boss style ships every few galaxies. You also don't have to play through the galaxies you've completed all over again. You can jump straight to the highest one you've reached directly from the title screen. Gala Force 2 isn't really a game that I take seriously. To me, it's frantic, mindless blasting. But the elements of strategy are there to be mastered for those people who really are determined to see it all. Definitely, Gala Force 2 is one of the best Electron games written. Quest is a very complicated, finickety graphic adventure. You play Walter. Your mission, find 12 power crystals, find and destroy 3 reactors, bring the correct object to the correct computer terminal, and open all the doors. There are a humongous amount of rooms to navigate, and everything is done in high resolution. In trying to be different, Quest has made itself into one of this genre's most unfriendly games. Whilst most baddies move in set patterns, many only do so until you move near them. When they attack, they're unshakable. In addition, baddies appear just as you're about to exit a room. Prepare to see that energy level fall very quickly. You have only one life, so zero energy is death. Yet you can also reincarnate up to four times by pressing loads of keys at the same time. Your first thought is that this is like a life system, but no. If you reincarnate, you can no longer win the game. Like, huh? What would I want to play a game for if I can't win anymore? I know what they've tried to do. They've tried to write a beautiful looking game to take the genre forward one step. More intelligent nasties and a more complicated mission probably seemed like a good idea at the time. But the formula doesn't work. Quest is just too complex and disconcerting to be enjoyable. Boulder Dash is a dash through caverns, tunnelling through the earth, collecting diamonds and avoiding boulders. There are 16 caverns and the difficulty slowly increases. Later caverns introduce flashing squares which travel along any pathways you've made and need some nifty finger work to avoid. Boulder Dash has been rendered on hundreds of platforms, and the Electron version isn't one of the best. The game engine seems to have sticky keys. When you move in any direction, and if you're not careful, you find your character moves one space further than you wanted. The consequences when this happens are often disastrous. On the other hand, I like that, as the name suggests, you can dash around the levels at quite a frantic pace, if you wish. If you're used to having to think hard and plot your moves, it can be quite liberating to be able to just think, what the hell, and just dive in. And it's even more satisfying if you can literally outrun dozens of falling boulders and still complete the level. Jet Set Willy 2 is a whole new house of worries for the famous Minor Turn Toff. The story is Willy called in the builders to fix his stairs, but these builders turned out to be aliens who destroyed all his old rooms and added sewers, transportation devices, a rocket and a giant foot. Now he needs to explore it all again and tidy up all of the items lying around. Rather like in the first game. The housekeeper is back again too, to forbid him entry to bed until it's all sorted. Jet Set Willy 2 is monochrome, and it introduces bigger sprites to deal with, as well as a bigger sense of variety. But the imagination of the room designs just isn't there. Very unlike the original, there are too many rooms that are dull and empty of items. The repeating death sequence is also still there, although some steps have been taken to limit it from happening as often as in the first outing. Jet Set Willy 2 is still a playable game, and it's definitely worth seeing. It's just not as good as the original. Birds of Prey is a quite tacky looking shoot 'em up from Romic Software. It's pretty standard Space Invaders fare, except everything sort of jerks from one frame to the next. The unique selling point about Birds of Prey, I suppose, is that the invaders make whirling noises as they come in for the kill. You quickly find that you need to concentrate almost solely on the bottom part of the screen. The formation birds rarely bother you, the swooping ones are difficult to pick off. 
Birds of Prey describes itself as a skillful game, and I'd go along with that. You need skill to master it. Unfortunately, it's a skill that's mastered quite easily, and the difficulty level increases very slowly. After a few levels, therefore, it just feels like you've done it all before. The 8x8 sprites also just make it feel amateurish. I'm not quite sure what some of the birds are either, because the instructions are just written in text. OK, the game itself is not really bad, but with much better shoot-em-ups vying for your attention, this offering's probably past hope.